2021 ended with shocking news. Jay Park announced that he would be stepping down from his position as CEO of both AOMG and Higher Music. He also reorganized his Instagram post right before deleting his account entirely. The news was pretty unexpected, especially considering that Jay was doing extremely well for himself. So what actually happened behind closed doors, and what's the truth? And how did we miss all the clues that he had been dropping in the past few years? In the last decade, we've been the witnesses to Asian hip-hop blowing up massive and at the forefront of it all was AOMG. AOMG was founded in 2013 by Jay himself with the intention of supporting artists and producers who want to make their own art in a comfortable environment. AOMG is home to some of the biggest artists in Korean music today like Loco, Simon Dominic, Hoodie, Punchnello, Lehigh, and even the former GOT7 member Yugyeom. For the last seven years, Jay, along with AOMG, have been revolutionizing the urban music scene in Korea. So why did he decide to throw it all down the drain? Well, Jay did and only found AOMG. Along with label mate Cha Cha Malone, he opened another hip hop record label in 2017 called Higher Music. The label launched artists like Yultron, Sit K, PH1, Jarv D, and others. They also had great producers like Groovy Room and Woogie. Not only that, but they ended up adding JB after his departure from GOT7. In hindsight, everything seemed to be going well for J Park. He was releasing the music he wanted, he had great artists signed under his labels, and both companies were doing seemingly great. But what if I told you that things might not have been so great after all, and that Jay hinted at his retirement several times already? He posted the unexpected announcement that he was stepping down as the CEO for both companies he manages on December 31st. He wrote, After a lot of thought and taking time to organize my emotions, I've decided to step down as the CEO of AOMG and Higher Music. I know this may be shocking to a lot of people, but I will remain as an advisor for both labels, and we will continue to be a family and a crew. Right after that, he deactivated his his Instagram and released a song titled To Life in which he thanked fans and the AOMG crew for their continued support. He didn't reveal a specific reason as to why he was stepping down as CEO of the labels in either the announcement or the song, but there are already rumors flowing, guys. In 2018, AOMG were on the news for similar reasons when Simon Dominic resigned as the co-CEO of the company. Before his resignation, Simon Dominic dropped his track Me No Jay Park in which he compared himself to his fellow colleague and friend Jay and said he didn't feel like he lived up to the CEO title. He also expressed the desperation he felt with his lack of hits compared to artists like Loco and Grey. Despite his resignation, he announced that he would still remain as an artist under AOMG. But even though both Simon and Jay clarified that they're on good terms, people thought that there might be something else going on. Jay Park appeared on Radio Star, and on the rumors about the possible feud between them, he said, He suddenly told me that he was going to resign and released a song called Me No Jay Park. He sent me the lyrics, and I realized that the position was too burdening to him. He felt that the title of CEO wasn't meant for him. A lot of people ask me if we have a bad relationship and if the song was a diss towards me, but it's not a diss track and we don't have a bad relationship. Jay ultimately decided to respect his friend's decision to resign and stay only as an artist. Some lyrics on his song made netizens think otherwise. The lyrics on the song go, AOMG is all about Jay, then it's loco, then it's gray. Last year, their stack of papers were quite thicker than mine. There's another duck other than Ugly Duck, and that's me, the lame duck. My name only had advantages when we all started way back, so it's no wonder people thought it was a diss track. Maybe problems had arisen between the two because of the clear difference in popularity. Plus, Jay always seemed to be more focused on growing higher music than AOMG, which was the reason he wasn't as much in touch with Simon. If the two CEOs weren't able to communicate, could that be a problem with the other artists? What if the other artists under AOMG weren't pleased with the lack of attention Jay Park was giving to the company? Company, and that led him to resigning. Well, that might be the case, but Simon also struggled with his mental health and depression, so things have just been piling on. The important thing to discuss is how Jay's music was doing in terms of charts and sales in the past few years. Jay Park has previously stated that while his songs doing well on charts is a big plus, he doesn't really care about charts and makes music because he enjoys it, and he encourages other artists to do the same. In his own words, our music and our worth cannot be determined by charts. The chart is an important and fun part Heart, but it isn't everything. He's also undoubtedly very talented, but his continuous controversies and him coming back around the same time as other big artists didn't do his songs a favor. In 2020, he was heavily criticized for his inappropriate lyrics on the song Mukbang, and just last year, he was accused of cultural appropriation in his song DNA Remix when he appeared on the music video with his hair in dreadlocks. As we all know, Koreans don't care about cultural appropriation to a high degree, but he lost a big chunk of international fans, which affected his sales.
styles. Adding to that, with more and more artists coming and rising in the K-hip-hop scene, Jay Park is not exactly the person which you'll find on top of the charts. So with his songs not selling well, and the artists under his own company being the ones to top the charts instead of him, there might have been two reasons for his resignation. Either he thought that he had completed his mission of taking these artists to the top so he had no other reason to stay as CEO, or he noticed that his songs haven't been making as much money, so he resigned to focus solely on other business ventures. He can't exactly put the same work into his career while managing two companies, so maybe now he'll feel more free to promote his music better and also launch new businesses. Another speculation says that the real reason for his resignation could just be that he's tired of the entertainment industry and he's heading for a retirement. A few days before his resignation was announced, he teased the launch of his Soju brand, which according to him, will be available soon. While the resignation announcement didn't hint at retirement, he has mentioned wanting to retire plenty of times in the past. It all started in 2018 when he hinted at an early retirement in an interview. He said, I think I'm going to retire early. It's not easy to always pour out my energy for so many people. He didn't mention anything about it until April of 2019 when he tweeted, I'm gonna retire in a couple of years. This is a promise to you guys and myself. Not a lot of space for guys like me left in this game. Then in September of 2020, he said, I'm probably going to be active until next year and will most likely retire in the year after. He has expressed that instead of continuing as a performer, he wants to focus more on the business aspect of his current and future businesses. He revealed that he wants to do many things, such as making content and videos, and even producing an idol group one day. That's something I really want to see. It really seemed like he was tired of the industry as a whole and just wanted a break. And that's exactly what he did last year when he posted an Instagram story saying that he would be taking a break until next year and asked anyone who needs to inquire about something from him to ask later. And then the nail in the coffin came on December 30th when he tweeted, if I ever retire or disappear, make sure to miss me. And he announced his resignation just a day later. Is this really the end of his career as an artist? Was he hinting at this all this time? He did release to life, but what if it was his goodbye single, especially since it featured the AOMG crew? Jay Park has also mentioned marriage before, even though he has never been in a public relationship. In July of last year, he appeared on an episode of Rain Season B Season where he was asked about his future marriage plans, retirement, and his business. When it came to marriage, Rain asked him if he had any plans of marrying in the future. Jay Park confessed that he thinks he couldn't think of marriage at the time, but admitted that once he starts working with a more structured and organized schedule, he may start thinking of settling down. Now, he hasn't spoken of marriage since then and is not in a relationship at the moment as far as everyone is aware, but without the burden of managing two of the biggest and most successful companies in the K-hip-hop scene, I think it's safe to say that his schedule is going to be more structured and organized than ever. What do you think was a real reason Jay Park resigned from managing such successful companies? Share your thoughts in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye!